How did this happen? What did you do? I'm giving you the chance to change your life. I believe that the message of hope and love that ultimately comes through in these wonderful Bible stories is needed now more than ever. The intention with this series is to find ways to inspire. And as movie makers, of course, we want to be able to bring these stories to life in compelling and exciting and poignant ways. The Ark of the Covenant! There is no story like the Bible. And we just realized if we could breathe fresh visual life into this sacred text, it would make a difference all over the world. What we're doing here really is the highlights of the Bible. Because in 10 hours, there's no way that we could tell all the stories. But my best hope is that we will tell these stories in an exciting way that will draw people back to the book itself. The way this project, the Bible, came around really is from the shared upbringing of Roma and myself and wanted to do something great together. We have three teenage children and a few Easter's ago we brought them in to watch the Ten Commandments, which was something that we watched every year growing up in Ireland. We were hoping that our children would have a similar experience to the one that we had. And while they appreciated the content of the story, I think the movie clearly was dated in terms of their expectation. And it planted, I think, in our minds, you know, isn't there an opportunity here for somebody to create a version of these stories for this generation? We are experienced commercial television people. And that sensibility joined into a love of the Bible and the biblical story seemed like, you know, we should do this. We should do this. I thought the fact that it was Mark and Roma really gave it a kind of sense of credibility, particularly, I think, within the entertainment industry and community, and their, their passion really came out even just in the few short things that they had said and really resonated uh, with me about uh, trying to tell this story to a new generation and really using media and modern technology in a way that really uh, has never been done before. Once we decided that we were going to go for it, we were filled with the excitement of that. It's a very ambitious project, to say the least. It's this big, beautiful, epic book. And the question was, what do you do? How do you break down the entire story from Genesis through Revelation, which could take a hundred hours of television? And it began with assembling a team and taking way over a year to break down the simplest through line. We had gathered a fantastic team of writers. Listen, nothing happens without a team, and we had a great, great team on this. There were many, many meetings, brainstorming, slicing it down. It became a question, really, of which stories were going to remain. Yeah, so just selecting the stories is a biblical challenge because there are so many fantastic stories, and they're also the most influential stories in history. So you have to pick carefully. We have to get the big ones, and we have to get some of the small ones that tell little details, and we have to really get under the skin of the characters. You are our future now, Joshua. You must take the land promised to Abraham. We broke it down into 10 episodes. We decided that the bridge segment would be episodes five and six, because five was going to take us through to the end of the Old Testament, and episode six was going to begin the New Testament for us. And we thought if we could get those scripts set first, then we would have a template, and almost we could work forward and backward at the same time. What's your name? Daniel. We ended up on the story of Daniel, and then we threw forward into the birth of Jesus. You will soon give birth to a son. He will be the son of the Most High. So we found our middle space first. The only way to approach this project was to treat 
the sacred text as a fact. Otherwise you'd be making a documentary where you would have academics saying, well, in the Bible it says this, but historically we're not sure, we don't even want to be doing that. That's a different project. We have to take the story as a fact. Believe in me and you will see the glory of God. The challenge for us in creating the series was that we would be always true to the spirit of the book. And to that end, we made sure that we had many experts working with us and on this every step of the way. And then as the episodes started getting put together in our edit, we then sent the films to the experts again and gave them an opportunity to feedback. And we continued to adjust each step of the way. God has spoken to me. He will lead us to a new home. He has promised descendants as numerous as the stars. The Old Testament presented a bit more of a challenge to create a cohesive series arc and uh, very necessary for that process that we had a narrator because we're, we're jumping through space and time and uh, covering many, many years, obviously to keep clarity in those stories for the audience and to be able to reveal important information along the way. But once we get into the New Testament, there's a natural unfolding of the narrative of the life of Jesus Christ. And as movie makers, in some ways that was simpler. I am the way, the truth, and the life. We set out, I think, planning to have much more of a docudrama style and as the project unfolded, and as the writing developed, it became clear that we really had the potential to make it much more of a drama. And that's what it has ended up being. God is with me, Delilah. He makes me strong. I think that perhaps many of us still hold on to the stories that we were taught as children, and that we haven't really considered some of those stories through adult eyes. I remember the day you first met the lovely Delilah. Our job isn't to teach the Bible. We are telling the meta-narrative, the big story. God is with us. In the end, we're telling a love story. God's love for his people, a story of hope, a story of forgiveness, kindness. That's the through line of this and if you've never read the Bible, you could love this. It has begun. My hope for the series is threefold. One, that for people of faith, that this series will just serve as a beautiful reminder of how magnificent our Bible story is and that it will fill their hearts. For people, perhaps, who were raised in faith but have fallen away, the series may be the very thing that reignites their faith. And then there's also an opportunity for people, people who have never heard the Word of God. This series will air globally and touch the lives of millions of people and has the potential to shine the light where the light has never shone before. What are we going to do? Change the world.